sleeping inside of you. It's been sleeping inside of you for generations. A woman sharing her warning about understanding your family's medical history after she fought cancer while pregnant. You're watching ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. Only one in 3,000 women get breast cancer during pregnancy. Jillian Maupin was one of them. She survived the ordeal all thanks to a team of female doctors at Virginia Hospital Center. But Maupin's case got even more complicated when she found out her cancer was preventable. She shared her story with our Jay Korf in the hope that it'll save lives. I've got two fresh ones of McCoy up here, but most of these are Ramsey. The things that matter most to Jillian Maupin, her daughters, Ramsey and McCoy, cover her refrigerator. But there are other photos in her Alexandria home much more complex, like an old picture of her father as a baby with his older sister and their parents. That's one of the crazy things about having the BRCA gene, like it's sleeping inside of you. It's been sleeping inside of you for generations and like it's in three of the people in this photo and they just don't even know. Near the end of Jillian's second pregnancy last year, her life spiraled. Around 36 weeks, she had mentioned that she had felt a lump. Dr. Danielle Holmes found a malignant mass in Jillian's left breast. Within hours, a team of five female physicians at Virginia Hospital Center coordinated a plan to save Maupin. Everyone on my care team gave me the sense of empowerment, which is that, like, cancer's a beast, but we can kill it. But diagnostic imaging critical to understand treatment could not be used during pregnancy. I understood that the baby had to get out of there. A week later, Dr. Holmes delivered McCoy via C-section. A few days later... Test results revealed gut-wrenching news. I have the distinct memory of calling her the same day, um, later that day, once the results were in, um, and telling her that the scans were negative, which was great news, but there was something else. Jillian tested positive for an altered BRCA2 gene, explaining why she got cancer so young. Since she was now high risk for ovarian cancer, she had her ovaries, fallopian tubes, and both breasts removed after enduring chemotherapy. And none of it's really about me getting cancer. Because the hardest truth for this mother is that there's a 50% chance that she passed the gene mutation on to her girls. That's my BRCA tree. Maupin says her grandfather, who died of cancer, unknowingly passed BRCA2 to her aunt, who also died of cancer, and to her father, who unknowingly passed it on to her. She says relatives on her father's side knew that her aunt had the mutated gene a decade ago, but did not tell her. She says with that information, she may have had a double mastectomy years ago and may not have had children. Like, I did get cancer, right? So, like, them not telling me resulted in my cancer. And my story hopefully has a happy ending, but it didn't necessarily have to. Like, I could have died. Despite resentments that may never resolve, Jillian Maupin is grateful to the doctors who saved her, the pregnancy that highlighted her tumor and, ironically, the cancer that led to her genetic testing. In some ways, I'm the healthiest that I've ever been in my entire life. Giving her the strength to raise her girls so one day she and her husband can tell them that family trees can also hold great beauty. Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Jillian's remarkable journey and what you can do to understand the risks associated with gene mutation, head over to our website, wjla.com, for a more in-depth version of this story.